welcome back to stylish nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you for subscribing to stylish nigeria youtube channel thank you for your love for your support i really appreciate each and every one of you that have supported stylish nigeria youtube channel i actually don't take it for granted okay guys so if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please subscribe to stylish nigeria youtube channel Hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever I upload a new video. So that's just like basically the essence of hitting on that bell. And then if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes we have available. You can also follow me on all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, all at Stylish Niger. Okay guys, today in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this edgy. I'm going to call, be calling it an edgy because the truth of the matter is you really need a, a, you really need to be a fashionista to be able to pull this off. So this edgy sleeve, so that's what we're going to be structured or detailed uh, sleeve. So that's what we're going to be learning how to cut and sew today. It is a simple piece and then it is something that it that actually stands out. Yeah, it stands you out. Or we can even say stand out sleeve, yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to be learning how to cut and sew today. So this is the mesh I'm going to be using. This one is going to be for the main, for the main um, sleeve. That's the main sleeve. And then this black we're going to be using for the ruffles that is attached on the sleeve. So if you want to buy um, your, your, the, the tool that you want to use, you can use an organza also. Make sure you buy a tool that is the net that is a little bit strong. So don't use this one. If not, you are not going to get that sharp and standing effect. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to draft our basic sleeve here. And then before we transfer it to our tool. So before we cut out the ruffles, I'm going to explain to you how you are going to take the measurement so you'll be able to make enough ruffles that will fit into your sleeve. Okay, guys, so it depends on where you actually want your sleeve, where you want the, the design to get to that's that detailed design. So you can actually start measuring from your on, from your bust line or on that bust. So it depends on how long you want it to be. And then you measure it up to your shoulder. So once you get to your shoulder, you are going to stop. So you know for this, for this, I have about 11 inches. So, the, so that's the one that will come. That's the extra one that will get to this point. It's about 11 inches. And then we're going to measure the one that will come on the sleeve also. And then we'll join them together. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to mark out our sleeve. My basic long sleeve. So I already have a video of this, but I'm just using to, to cut it out for the sake of the people that are beginners in our midst. So I have my pattern paper folded into two already. So I have my round sleeve is nine inches, which is okay. And then I'm going to come to this point. I'm going to come down for my sleeve height or so my sleeve cap. I'll come down by four inches. So from this four inches, this is what I'm just going to do. I'll just float it into this point. You see, it's a very simple process. So the next thing we're going to measure now, I'm going to come to my bicep area, which is usually around eight or nine. And then the next thing you're going to measure is the length of your sleeve. So for this, I'm going to be making use of 18 inches for my sleeve. And then after marking that 18 inches, the next thing I'm going to mark on this point is how the round sleeve that's the wrist, that's this point. I'm making it of 10 inches, I'll mark it here. And then I'll come to the biceps area and then I'll mark 12 inches. All the measurements are divided into two, so you should have six here and then five here. So just basically what you are going to do, you are just going to use dotted lines like this from those points and then mark it to this point. So that's just how simple it is to draft the sleeve. So you can see what you have. So you see how simple it is. So the next thing now we're going to cut this out. All right, guys. So we are done with our sleeve. So the next thing we're going to do now we're going to measure our ruffles. So initially we measured eleven inches. The next thing we are going to measure how many do I have here. So for this one, 
I'm going to use I'm going to use 14 inches. So now we're going to add 11 plus 14. So we're going to have about 25 inches all together. So our ruffle is going to be long. It's going to be 25 inches. So this we're going to transfer to this to the basic sleeve. And then now I'm going to show you us how to cut out the ruffles and then sew them. Okay, guys, so I've cut out my straps. I cut out a lot. I I have up to about eight about eight pieces here. So I'm going to show you the measurement that I used. So this is the widest one. That's the one that is going to be around the, the shoulder area. So the length is about six inches and then the other ones are about four, four inches. So I, I have two yards of um, net. So I use the whole entire length. So the next thing now, I'm going to take this to the machine and then show you how we're going to ruffle it up. Okay guys, so you can see what I have. So you see the ones I've already done. So I'm going to explain how we're go how to do them. So what you're going to do, you're going to take two pieces together like this. So join them together. And then we're going to start creating the ruffles. So creating the ruffles, you just take the center of it. And then you are going to start pleating. There was a time I did something similar. So you keep ruffling them together. Just to, so that you see that this is why you need that sharp, you need a stronger one. So to be able to have this effect, so you can see the effect. But if you use the soft tool, you will not be able to achieve it. It will not stand. So you are just going to keep taking the center. Use your hand. Just use your hand to guide them. Just be pulling it together, just be creating plates. Depends on how much fullness you want. That is how much uh, closeness you bring them to. So you just keep doing that until you get to the end. So once I get to the end, what I'm going to do now, once I get to the end, I'm going to join them together. So I'll join these two. I'll just join it here. And then we'll go back to the table and show you how to connect it on the sleeve. Okay guys, so I finished teaching, so I've joined them together. I just secured them on the spot. So the next thing, so I trim a, a part out. So I now decided, I just decided after it's better for you to trim it after fixing it on this thing. So be able to trim it to however you want it to be. So what you are going to do now, you just get the center of your of your sleeve. Just mark out the middle of your sleeve. So that's of your, your basic sleeve pattern. And then you're going to take this. So it depends on where you want it to start from. And then you place it and then making sure that the extra is hanging out on the shoulder part like this. So you just leave that part. And then I'm going to take it back to my machine. That same uh, line that I used, I will just follow the same line and then I'll secure it down. So after securing it, you can now, you can now decide to trim it however we want to trim it. That's the shape that we want to give to it. So I'll go and secure that down and then I'll join the sleeve on the side. And then I will come and place it on the mannequin for you to see. Okay, guys. So you can see I finished attaching it. So the next thing now, I'm just going to trim it how I will make this down part a little bit slimmer just to give it that shape that we have here. So I'll trim so you can see how the tip is looking like now. So you just follow the shape and trim it however you want to trim it. So I'll place it on the on the mannequin so I can trim it more. So you can see this part is looking sharp and, and beautiful. And then I'll keep trimming it. Okay, guys. So at the end of the day, so you can see how our sleeve looks like. So you're just going to trim it however you want to trim it. 
So like I said, this part, I just traced it a little bit thin and then trim out all of the edges so you can see it's looking really beautiful on this side. So on this side also, on the chest area also, I just made it a little bit slimmer and then trimmed out all of this part also just to give it a very a more detailed look. That's like, I don't know how to say that word. Just to give it a, a beautiful look. Okay, so you can see the shoulder area, so you can see how it is looking. It really came out really fine. So thank you so much, guys. If you find this video helpful, please, I would appreciate it if you would hit on the like button. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video.